I had to drop off a birthday card at Aunt Nancy's place over here. And uh, we're going to head back to the farm and we're going to start getting on corn harvest. we got to get silage for the cows. we got to get chopping silage too. There's a lot to do today. Let me see if I can find 1040. <laughs> Hey, it's Doug here, back at 1040 The Bronco, the best place to get your American hits on. Oh, Doug, he's you a good guy. Car? Check out the 1969 Charger RT. Just came out new this year. Has a 440 Magnum and is rated at 375 horsepower. If you haven't heard this one, you must be living under a gosh dang rock. Because yesterday, on July 16th, we landed the first man on the moon. That's right. Neil Armstrong and his crew landed on the moon yesterday the at 8.32. Hey, this is Doug at 10.40, the Bronco. Next up, we got Credence Clearwater Revival's new song, Bad Moon Rising. We have a lot to get done, and those cows, uh, they're starting to get hungry here. If you guys are new, this is a 1960s series where we try to roleplay 1960s slash early 70s as much as possible. Like, And then eventually as we grow and the farm grows and stuff, we'll work it through the 70s, go through the 80s, 90s, heck maybe 2000s, and maybe we'll even move states. I don't know. We're just going to see where this series kind of goes. So currently in the farm bank account, we have $16,804. I need to buy a mower and a rake. So we need to get that mower and rake bought, which is going to take us down to probably like $11,000. Once Buck should be getting here soon, and then I'm going to call, and then we'll take both 4020s down and uh, pick them up. Pick up the mower and uh, rake. We'll get the other 4020. <laughs> oh! Did Buck actually buy a new car? Hey! You hear the crazy right. news? Yeah! We landed well, on the moon! And I bought a Charger! We're both doing great! What the <laughs> heck? Where'd you get the money for this? I heard hey, on the man, radio this know, cost 3500 bucks. And? Where'd you get the money? I have my ways. Did the wife buy it for you? Oh. Oh my gosh. Has she got the 450 under? 383. 383. Yeah, pop the... Leather interior. Is that leather or cloth interior? Uh, I got one for the black leather. These just came yeah. out. Like, they're actually at uh, dealers. Yeah. yeah. Well, where else do you think I got it from? Newspaper down in Topeka? You get Stanley's dealership? Stanley's Dodge? Yeah. I got oh. it over there. Hooked me up with a sweet deal and uh, said, you can't officially buy the car until you leave doing a burnout. So, the tires are already about a couple thousand miles down. Gosh, dang. Just for the record. She is clean. <laughs> you got the oh. BFGs on there, too. You swap them oh, out yeah. or they come stock? No, those were, I got those on there. Huh. These, these puppies are 500 Magnums. Can I take her for a spin? Come on, if it were, Mark. Don't come wreck on. my car, please. I won't. I'll take it easy. Is this I'll six slam speed? The hood here. Automatic. Four speed. Ah. There's one thing I didn't want to... In case someone like you or Austin wanted to drive, I didn't want to embarrass you by being the only one in the family that knows how to drive stick. Well, I'll take her easy. I'll take her All easy. All right. Oh. Well, that is a thing, but the four speed is just a little bit easier to run. Yeah, I'll be easy on her. All right. Don't wreck it, please. This would Relax. smoke Donaldson's... Donaldson's Camaro in a race. You think? That would be a race to see. Uh-huh. 440 do a lot better. Yeah. She handles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Break her loose a little bit. I see how that rubber's already worn. Buck? She you didn't break it, did you? No, oh, she runs like a bat out of H-E double hockey stick. Those corners, that thing handles insane. Going around those corners over there by Jeffrey's house? Uh-huh. Wow, well here's the keys. Thanks for giving me a 
No problem anymore, That's but fair. I might just go uh, put this in one of the old sheds because I ain't gonna have this thing sitting out in the middle of the open. Absolutely yeah. not. Okay, I got the 4020s uh, fired up. We got to go pick up a baler and uh, or not a baler, a mower and a rake. I bought. Okay. Woo! Turn radius ain't that good. Which one am I gonna take? Do you want to get sun or no sun? Well, I'm the one that goes to the beach more, so I'm gonna need the sun. Okay. We're just heading down to McGregor's dealer. They got uh, two New Hollands for sale. All right. All right, so which one do you think you're going to be taking? I'll take the rake, you take the mower, because we'll have that tractor on the mower. Okay. I'll back you up to the mower. There you go. Keep coming. Keep going. I think you should be good. Just kind of got to lift it up out of the grass. Yeah. Huh. Oh! <laughs> there we go. That thing is stuck on the drawbar. I got the PTO connected. You should be good. Okay, I think you... Yeah, I'll, still, I'll drop the pin in on yours. Must have been muddy here, because these jacks, unless this doesn't have a foot under, it's stuck under the grass. The, the jack under here, it must have gotten rain because that jack's buried in the dirt. Huh. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. And stop. There you go. Pin drop. Oh. Hey, so we got... We got to harvest the corn over at grandma's farm and then we got the combine over there ready to go and then we also need to get grass feed for the cows here because they're out of feed and then we need to get silage chopped before that goes bad we got a lot to do oh what do you want were you not listening no i was staring off into the abyss hey, okay so um i think we got to start cutting grass here oh no sure <laughs> and then i don't know really uh, well, we got we got cord. We got a ah, uh, we got the sixty six hundred combine over at Grandma's. We got to pick corn, and then also we got to chop silage. We got a lot to do. Weren't you supposed to do half of this yesterday? The game was on yesterday. The game? Well, we don't sleep in time for games. Get up, come on, let's go. All right. So I'm thinking if we, anyway. could, if we could knock out say three four acres at least with grass. Possibly bail it up quick, feed it to the cows, at least get them some feed, then we can go we can go pick some corn. If you want to get cut and cutting, I'm gonna follow you with the rake right away and we'll go. Hey, which which field are we doing again? It's stuff around the house. This stuff's ready. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yep. There's probably five acres here, ish. I think the county guy okay. came out and surveyed a couple of years ago, he said four and a half. Alright. Did he just stole out the tractor? Shush, all right, I'm trying to swap the thing around so I'm not in the middle of the highway. Well, it's a good thing that New Holland's running good because we picked those up. I mean, we spent, uh, I think, a total of four grand on it. We're down to $11,000 here, so we're gonna need feed and we need to keep picking corn because that's gonna be our income right now. I'm gonna go what? keep, I'm gonna go keep picking corn at grandma's. Uh, I'll be back in 30 minutes once I get a wagon full, and then I'll start raking for you. All right. I'm not sure how much that rake's going to do. It seems a little thin, but I mean, well, you can do as you need to. We'll see. Okay. All right. I got to throttle up here. Yep. Here we are. I'd say we got... Five acres picked yesterday. We probably got another 30 to go yet. We'll get the 6600 fired up. She's warmed up and we're gonna keep picking corn here. Our dad has farmed this farm for, 
I would say a good 40 years and two years ago we started officially uh, farming this farm here this is uh grandma owned it and then uh, she passed away so she actually gave it to us This corn has to be yielding probably close to 120 bushel of the acre. I've never seen corn this tall in my entire life. It's a different hybrid, but holy Toledo. Heck, we're almost full. Well, we're getting full. We about have a full load here. Unfortunately, we've picked a lot of acres. So it seems like maybe my yield isn't as promising as I thought it was gonna be for us. But we're getting full here. I'm going to back out. Well, load in the. F I'm going to check and make sure there's no corn in there. Eh. There we go. She's unloading. Well, I have probably three quarters of a load picked. We're going to fire up the 4020. And I'm actually going to put this in the harvester because we're going to use some of this corn for feed here and then maybe some of it will sell the elevator. She's a little heavy. 4020 can feel it back there. Hey, there's Buck. Looks like he's got most of the grass cut here. So I talked to Buck and we couldn't, something was wrong with the vac, it was one of the PTO pins on it, so we couldn't get the vac going. We got the grain sitting at our place right now. I need to get raking this uh, for Buck here and then he's coming with the, uh, he's coming with the grass slainer, that's what we call it on our farm. Um, and he's going to put it into the forage box. I think he should be able to get everything hooked up by himself. We'll see here though. It's doing a decent job though. We should have bought a bigger one. We really should have bought a bigger one. So we're actually selling our chopper box to a neighbor here. Um, this is kind of what it looks like on the digital screen back in the 60s. Uh, anyways, we're selling it for 17,000 and it's, it has issues. The, the mod has issues, so we can't let it work. So that's why we're selling it. And we're actually gonna buy it a couple hay racks. Oh, right on time. Yep, keep coming. Ah. Keep coming. Turner. Oh! PTO set up, yep. So we're gonna get the square baler out and uh, we're gonna bail some of these. And then some of this grass is gonna go to the cows and some of it we're just gonna store in the hay barn here. To your left. There you go. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh! Well, I'm gonna run the rack back here a little bit. Literally. There we go. She's coming. <laughs> hey, slow it down. I can't keep up back here. Hey, y'all left. I want to slow up. How's it coming back there? It's good. I'm... It's a decent stack. A decent stack? Hey, Boy, that I'm, looks like a third grader did it. It's some good hay, man. Some good yield hay. Grass. I'll give it to you, bud. You actually did a good job raking. Thanks. Come on, boy. Okay, let's go. Oh. Throw him in the side. Yeah. Sorry about that. Good. There we go. Hold on, there's another one. Well, the cows are getting hungry, so I'm going to run, and uh, we're going to toss a bale in there and uh, feed them. Hey, it worked. The cows don't have much feed, but they have they have some in there. 531 liters. We need grass, we need hay, and then we need TMR. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, I dropped another one. Gosh darn it, Buck. Hey, you didn't think about doing this very well on the corners, did you? Hold on. Son of a gun. There's another one. Oh. Well, uh, we'll go feed this one to the cow. Oops. Oh. Oh. oh shoot, no. <laughs> Gosh darn it. 
Well, oh, we're just gonna turn. toss the extra bales in the back of the pickup here for now. As long as they don't fly out. I'm on my way to pick up another tether. Um, it's gonna look very similar to the rake, but it actually turns it into hay. And so we need hay and we need grass and then we need TMR for all these cows. So we got a lot of a lot of production ahead of us. This is the tether we're looking at. It's gonna be twelve hundred bucks, but it's gonna turn our grass into hay for us once we let the sun go on it. Well, there goes Buck. He must be out for a joyride. He must have got done bailing. Look at that boy go. And there we go, we're tedding. So that's actually getting turned to hay, and then now we'll have uh, hay for the cows. Hey, you get her all done? Yeah, so far right now, I didn't really know what you wanted me to do with the bales. If you want me to throw all of them in the hay barn, you want me to throw them and give them to the cows. Well, uh, let's let's throw to some to the cows. Okay. Yeah, pull in there. I don't... You should be able to squeeze the baler in. We'll see. It's going to be tight. Is it going to fit? Oh, come, come on. Bridge, Calm down, Betsy. You'll get your food. Okay, we're going to hook up the wide front to the cart because Buck's having a tough time fitting in here. There we go. We're hooked up. Oh, yeah, it's taken. Oh, yeah. There we go. Keep tossing them. I am the spell throwing champion. There you go. I think we should be good on yeah, that. Yeah, we're looking full. We'll put the rest in the hayloft. Well, I think we're going to use the hay shed for hay, so we're going to stack the grass bales and uh, the commodity shed back here. We... All right, boys, start throwing. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, I see. You're going to make me Just do all the stacking. Bullshit. Keep up. I'm doing the meticulous work. You're just sloppy second in it. <laughs> I'll help you stack once we get to a certain point. Very unorganized one. Good enough. There we go. They're stacked. Yeah. Probably the most work we've done all day. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to... Uh, Tedden, and then Buck's gonna come and bail up these hay bales, and we'll feed them to the cows. We got the mower detached, and we're gonna hook back up to the uh, wagon. We're gonna take that to town, actually, because we got some grain in there, and I don't have any place to put it. We're gonna eventually put some in the bin, but for now, we need the money badly. So we got some corn in here yet. We'll start dumping here. They got good corn prices, so we should get a lot of money. Open the gate. There we go. We got $3,000 from that load. Not bad. How's it coming along there, bud? Seems to be running fairly smooth. We only had one or two bales get thrown over the side, but I already threw them under the side for me. Let me, let me throw them down here. Oh. Yeah, we got a handful of them. I had about two or three of them go over the edge on the other side of the field. I already threw them in the back. There's one over there. I saw it shoot over. I gotta remember the controls to get that hydro thing to swing back and forth so they're not thrown out the side of the wagon. Okay, I'll go, we, I can go pick them up for you. Okay, we got two grass bales in the back of this thing just because they're imposters, but uh, I think we should be able to have enough for hay lot, at least, to TMR stuff. Okay. That'll work good. All right. That'll be good. 
Yeah, he's got a couple barrels here that went over the edge. We'll just throw them in the back of the pickup. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Here, oh, I'll, and I'll, I'm, I'm on the wrong side. I'll run the rack. Oh boy. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Give it. Oh, she's going over my head. <laughs> I think you made these swaths a little bit too wide, bud. Mm, almost perfect. can't pick all of it up. Do you not see half of it not going in? Calm down back there. You're not the one sweating your balls off back here. You got it easy up there. The reason that I, yeah, and there's a reason that I can afford the charger and you can't. It's because mom gives you all the money. Now I make my own. I never said it was legal, but I make it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna toss the extra bales in here. Oh, there we go. We're gonna move Buck's charger and then we're gonna park the the wagon underneath the uh, underneath the barn. I'll grab the hitch pin. Hang on a minute. There we go. There you go. You're good to go. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed another 1960s. Me and Buck, we got a ton done today. Um, that guy knows how to spend some money. But anyways, we got a lot to do. Corn harvest, a lot more cattle. We got to get TMR mixed up. Uh, silage yet. A lot to do. But anyways, if you enjoyed it, guys, let me know down in the comment section. And hey. We'll see you guys in the next one. Get her, Buck. Oh, I thought I could drift it like I did back in the day. <laughs> nope. Hey, watch the hayfield. <laughs> You'll be fine.